What is good with it? YouTube fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir. I say it real talk boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again, the possible showdown between Ryan Garcia and Devin, the dream Haney, possibly for early next year, 2024. I believe that they are in talks right now and I think it makes sense, you know. Now, I, I stated to you guys when Devin Haney won the WBC title for Pro Grade um, that he wasn't looking to become undisputed. He wasn't even worried about that. The belts really don't mean anything. He was looking for the big money fights. And this day and age, again, the way that boxing um, is nowadays, that's what it's all about, the big money fight. And you got two big names, you know, with Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, young, fresh, vibrant fighters uh, to go toe to toe. Um, I like it. Some people don't. Um, I think it'll sell. And I think the pay-per-views will do really good. And uh, both of them stand to make a lot of money. Both of them are coming off of uh, two wins, their last outings. Uh, I would dare to say that Devin Haney looked much better than Ryan Garcia. Um, and his win against Pro Gray, um, I think it's a very, very smart move for both fighters, but I think it's even more smarter for Devin Haney because it's an easy fight for him, in my opinion, for a huge payday. And it's lucrative, and, and, and that's what the Haney's want. Something lucrative, something that makes sense. You know, Bill ain't, he ain't tripping on it, but that's, that's, the, kind of, that's the kind of work Bill wants for Devin Haney, guaranteed. And, um, I mean, it is what it is. I know, um, uh, you know, to me, uh, I would say two, three years ago, I'd be upset about this type of stuff. You know, I'm like, man, you don't want a WBC. Why don't you unify? Why don't you try to become undisputed? But it's just, box is not about that anymore. Now, let's talk about the fight and who I think will win. Or who I know will win. <laughs> it's Devin the Dream Haney. Now, they, they have a lot of history. Um, as a matter of fact, I remember when um, Ryan Garcia uh, defeated Campbell, Devin Haney stepped into the ring and called, you know, Ryan Garcia out. And Ryan Garcia obliged him. He didn't mind. He was like, bro, I'll fight you. We can get it on. You know, somewhere in between that time, you know, years ago, it never happened. But I do feel like Ryan Garcia is down to fight anybody. Once I seen him step in the, in the ring with Tank, and push for that fight, I knew that Ryan Garcia was willing to fight anybody. Win, lose, or draw. Uh, but for Ryan, it's a big money fight, too. You know, he's just going to have to take another, you know, L on his record. Because he ain't beating Devin Haney. And here's why I say that. They both had back and forth wins and losses in the, am in the amateurs against each other, I do believe. Um, but who has improved since then? More so. Who has improved? Ryan or Devin Haney? Devin, they both have improved since the amateurs. Don't get me wrong. But Devin Haney has improved way more, way more within his last two fights than Ryan, I mean, Ryan Garcia has since the amateurs, in my opinion. And, I mean, if you really want to be truthful and honest, let's, let's just look at, the, let's look at the accolades. Let's look at the achievements. Um, undisputed. Devin Haney. And now, in his first fight at 140 pounds, he wins WBC title. The resume is way better than Ryan Garcia's. Ryan Garcia's opponent last outing, I didn't know him. There anybody else? Ryan Garcia's never been a world champion. Never been a legit world champion. His resume lacks, especially when you hold it up against Devin Haney's. Skill set in the ring. Ryan lacks tools in his arsenal. They both still make mistakes because they're still very young, but Devin Haney has so much more in his tool belt. I mean, so many more tangibles, man. So many more. The, the ring IQ, you know what I'm saying? The adjustments. Um, I mean, 
at 140 pounds, he's he's pushing a lot more weight behind those punches. And they're feeling them. And plus, he's lightning fast. Even though like, Ryan Garcia's lightning fast, I just don't feel like Ryan Garcia stands a chance against Devin Haney, you know? And and, and, and I understand why the Haney's want this fight. I get it. And I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch Devin Haney completely dominate Ryan Garcia. I feel like he's going to box so many circles around Ryan, Ryan's either going to, one, end up quitting, or he's going to end up getting stopped. Honestly, and I, I can guarantee you almost, I can't guarantee you, but I can almost guarantee that fight's going to be in Saudi Arabia because Devin Haney was over there in the Day of Reckoning checking out the heavyweight, um, you know, showdown there last weekend uh, or yesterday night. Um, So I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on over in Saudi, but his excellency, man, they got the bag over there. They got mad money over there. And I believe that that's where the big fights is going to hold for a long time over there in Saudi. And now these fighters are going over there. Man, you got you got enough money to pay Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilde on the same court? You got that much money to do that? They got bag, man. And best believe that Haney and, and Garcia, they're going over there, man. And they're going to get that bag, that long flight travel over there to Saudi, man. And they're going to they're gonna get that huge bag, plenty of lunch money. And I think that I, I do believe, even though the fight will be one sided, in my opinion, I think it'll be an exciting fight for boxing. And uh, it makes just it makes so much sense for Devin Haney because, and you can hate on Devin all you want. I mean, I ain't gonna hate on him. I would rather see him fight another champion. I would rather see him in there with somebody else with a belt. Uh, but you know, he's thinking about his bank account in his pockets. He's thinking about that low risk and that high reward. It's a fight that he can't turn down. Lucrative makes sense. You dig? And also for Ryan Garcia. And, you know, if Ryan goes in like he did his last fight, man, it, Ryan's defense is just horrible. It's 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 hard to watch, man. And he's just going to get picked and poked apart against Devin Haney. Uh, so do I think that fight's going to happen sometime next year? I do, Lord willing, it'll happen. And um, I think we're in for a treat for that fight. And I think Devin Haney is just going to run straight through Ryan Garcia, man. That's just my opinion. What do you think about it? Because I want to know. So comment down there and let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all free none. God bless. Until the next time, Real Talk Boxing. I'm up and I'm out of here. Bye, y'all.